Ever feel like finding a job these days is like trying to win the lottery? Well, you're not alone. Right now, in places like the US, UK, and Canada, the job hunt is tougher than ever. Let's talk numbers for a sec. In the UK, things got better for a while when unemployment fell to a nice 3.5% in August 2022. But then, bam, it started creeping up again, and job openings took a nosedive from a whopping 1.3 million to just 934,000 by the end of the year. In Canada, oh boy, it's been a roller coaster. After the 2008 recession, unemployment shot up to 8.4%. And just when we thought we'd seen it all, COVID-19 hit, and nearly 2 million people found themselves out of work. These aren't just boring stats. They're signs of a bigger mess that could mess with your job plans. It's frustrating and tiring. Job hunting has never been this hard, says Michael Cook, who was laid off from a gaming company in December after more than a decade in the professional labor market, and who has applied to hundreds of jobs since. Given the fact that this crisis will impact most of us in one way or another, let's get right to the heart of the issue. What's really going down in the job market? How is it going to hit you where it hurts? And the big one, what can you do right now to dodge the worst of it and maybe even come out on top? Let's explore this together, understand the underlying issues, and uncover actionable steps that you can take to secure your future in this unpredictable job market. To understand what is going on in the job market today, we need to go back to the beginning. The job market is like a big game of musical chairs. When the music stopped playing a few years ago, which is another way of saying that the economy took a hit, there were not enough chairs that included jobs for everyone. Since then, it has been some kind of wild ride. Let's break it down really simply. Imagine that I gave you $100, and you decided to use that money to start a lemonade stand. If lots of people buy your lemonade, you can start paying your friend to help you out. If, on the other hand, all of a sudden, nobody is coming to your stand because they are all staying inside, like this could happen during a lockdown, you will not have enough money to pay your friend. That's a tiny taste of how businesses felt during the tough times, leading to job cuts. This squeeze on businesses didn't just stop at the lemonade stand. It rippled across all sorts of industries, from big tech companies to local diners. As the world started to open back up, you'd think that it'd be back to business as usual, right? Well, not exactly. The game of musical chairs got even more complicated. The catch is that some jobs came back very quickly, while others changed completely. Remote work went from a rare perk to a standard option for many. This shift meant that the old playbook for finding a job needed an update. Now it's not just about what you can do, but also where you can do it from. For you, this means a couple of things. Number one is flexibility is your friend. The more you can adapt to new ways of working, the better your chances of grabbing a chair when the music stops again. Whether it's getting comfy with Zoom interviews or learning to collaborate online, these skills are now just as important as your job-specific know-how. Number two, the digital world is your new playground. With more jobs going remote, your next opportunity might not even be in your city, or for your country for that matter. Expanding your search can open up new possibilities you haven't considered before. And number three, never stop learning. The skills that got you a job five years ago might not be enough today. Continuous learning, whether through online courses, workshops, or even YouTube tutorials, can keep you competitive. So what's your next move? In this new job market landscape, being proactive is key. Start by brushing up on your digital communication skills. Get comfortable with remote work tools. And don't be afraid to look beyond your local job listings. The world of work has changed, but with a bit of strategy and adaptability, you can find your place in it. Find the chair that fits you best. It's not enough to find any chair. Now is the moment to take action, whether that is switching careers, improving your abilities, or even opening your own lemonade stand. Moving forward, let's talk about something that catches many of us off guard when we're on the hunt for a new job. The hidden costs. Yeah, searching for a job isn't just about hitting apply on job sites. It's like going fishing but realizing you need to buy the rod, bait, and even the fishing license first. Before you know it, you're spending money left and right, and it's all adding up. Think of this. You're all set to enter the job market. You've got your resume ready, and you're pumped to start applying. But then, you notice that everyone's talking about this new software skill that's in high demand. So, you sign up for an online course to learn it. 
Next, you find out that networking on professional sites might give you an edge. But the best features are locked behind a paywall. And let's not even start on the costs if you decide to go to a job fair in another city. And that's where it gets weird. It may seem like you have to spend money to make money, but there are some smart ways to save money on these costs without sacrificing your job search. The first one is get creative with learning. Instead of shelling out big bucks for every course, check out free tutorials and resources first. There are tons of experts sharing their knowledge online without charging a dime. The second one is use free trials wisely. Many professional networking sites offer free trials of their premium services. Plan these trials to happen during your busiest job hunting times to get the most out of them without spending any money. And the last one is network on a budget. You don't always need to attend expensive conferences or workshops to meet the right people. Online forums, local meetups, or even social media can be gold mines for networking without that hefty price tag. There are costs that come with looking for a job, but if you're smart and plan ahead, you can keep those costs in check. It's all about being resourceful and making the most of what you have. It is not the other way around. The goal is to get a job that pays you. So, keep your money on the prize and your wallet in mind, and you will make it through this without losing any money. Let us do this in a smart way so that your job search is both successful and does not cost too much. As we deal with the ups and downs of the job market, there is one thing that is beginning to cast a chill over everything. Automation. It's like a silent apocalypse, slowly creeping up on us, ready to transform the way that we work, live, and earn a living. This isn't just about robots taking over factory jobs. It's about software algorithms, AI, and machines stepping into roles we never thought possible. Imagine walking into your favorite coffee shop, where a machine now brews the perfect cup, or logging into a customer service chat only to realize you're conversing with AI. It's happening, and it's happening fast. What this means for you, me, and the person next door is just as interesting as the technology itself. Here's what Elon Musk says about AI. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Here's a closer look at how this automation apocalypse is reshaping our world. Number one is job transformation. While some jobs are being automated away, new ones are emerging in their place. Consider the rise of data analysis, AI trainers, and cybersecurity experts. These roles were barely on the radar a decade ago. For us, it is important to be able to change and adapt, making sure that our skills match the jobs of tomorrow, not yesterday. Number two is the efficiency paradox. On one hand, automation promises to make businesses more efficient, potentially lowering costs for consumers. On the other hand, it introduces a complex debate about income inequality and the distribution of wealth. If machines are doing the work, where does that leave the everyday worker? It's a question that's sparking conversations from coffee shops to the halls of Congress. Number three is the personal touch. As automation becomes more common, social interaction and creativity become more valuable. Jobs that require emotional intelligence, creative thinking, and a personal touch are proving to be more resilient. This is where you can shine, by leveraging skills that no machine can replicate. So what does that mean for you? Here are a few takeaways. Accept lifelong learning. The best defense against automation is a proactive offense. Stay curious, keep learning, and always be ready to adapt your skills. Highlight your human skills. In your job search and career development, emphasize traits like creativity, empathy, and problem solving, skills that machines can't mimic. Stay informed. Keep an eye on industry trends to understand how automation might impact your field. Being up to date on the latest news and information can help you survive the changes. As we learn more about how complicated the job market is today, it becomes clear that it can feel like looking for a needle in a haystack. But don't give up. There's a spectrum of solutions at your fingertips, designed to guide you through this tricky path with confidence. First of all, in today's world, digital literacy is not just an asset. It is a necessity. Skill up and stand out. The job market is ever-evolving, with new roles arising as quickly as others fade. This constant influx might seem daunting, but it's also filled with opportunity. Continuous learning is the key, 
Whether it's taking courses, attending workshops, or simply staying curious about your field, enhancing your skill set can make you irresistible to employers. And here's the good news. Many of these resources are free or low cost, making them accessible to anyone with a thirst for knowledge. Then comes the power of networking. Yes, we've all heard, it's not what you know, but who you know. But let's reframe this. Networking is about building genuine connections, not just collecting contacts. In the digital age, networking has expanded beyond traditional boundaries, offering unprecedented opportunities to connect with industry leaders and peers worldwide. The secret? Engage authentically. Share your insights, ask thoughtful questions, and offer value. Remember, a meaningful conversation can open doors that a resume alone might not. And lastly, mindset matters. In this puzzle, your mindset might be the most important piece. Finding a job might be like riding a roller coaster with the highs and lows. Maintaining a positive, resilient attitude is essential. Celebrate your small victories, learn from the setbacks, and keep pushing forward. Your mindset can be your strongest ally or your greatest obstacle. The choice is yours. Let's take these steps together, transforming challenges into opportunities and aspirations into achievements. How will you use what you've learned to make your own way to success? What plans do you have to make sure that your career not only survives, but thrives in this ever-changing world? Share your thoughts and plans in the comments below.